Hey guys, welcome to the cemetery in the channel. <laughs> Got you on that one, didn't I? Welcome to the channel. We're at the cemetery. We're at the Glenna Cemetery in Glenna, Ohio. We've done conquered this garden right here. Half the garden up there. We've done found 14 Revolution War veterans. We have found five, I think, 1812, a few World War II. And yeah, the oldest grave has been 1810. So let's get back at it and see what we got, guys. This is Fred, 1885 to 1943. This is Uncle Fred, 1861 to 1942. Then we got somebody on this stone. I ain't gonna be able to tell who it is. It was right in there. But it was there at one time. It's gone now. All right. Probably won't be able to read a lot of these. Well, there was a lot on the other side we couldn't read either. We just get what we can. All right. We got one here that's been broke off. Not gonna be able to read too much about it. We do have a few lined up here to the fence though. Right here, that one just says age. I can see age. I can't make out anything on that one. I can't really make out nothing on this, any of these. But there they are. They got them lined up at the fence. That's what they do. They line them up at the fence. Here's this one. But I can't tell much about it. It's a different looking stone. I've never seen one with the end like that and the fight or side like that. But here it is. They died in 1881. Looks like it's gonna be, I don't know, a Susanna, maybe? It looks like they're down at 79 years, maybe two months and five days. Then we have, these here I'm not gonna be able to read because they're so far low to the ground, I'm just gonna hold you on them. Right here. Right here. We have a child or an infant on this one. Right here. Then we have this red hair. There's a lot of these I ain't gonna be able to read, guys. I just gotta hold it and let you read them on your own. And we have this one right here. Man, there's a lot of them on this side we ain't gonna be able to read. We got a veteran on this one. He's gonna be Civil War, if I can find him. Uh, uh, I don't know which side he's writing on, guys. I don't see any. Anyways, that's a Civil War veteran. Then we have a child and infant on this one, leaning up against. Then we have this one. I can't tell nothing on it either. Then we have a child and infant on this one. Right here. Then we have this stone. And it's going to belong to James Cook. He died August 5th, 1859, at 80, uh, 35 years, 2 months, and 24 days. Then we have Virgil Cook. He was in the Civil War, March 21st, 1861. 17 years, 5 months, and it looks like maybe one, uh, one day that he was a Civil War veteran. Hmm. Looks like he might have lied about his age to get in, didn't he? And later they took him at 17. Can't read this one. Good looking stone though. There it is. Then we got somebody back on this side. It's going to be a John Cook. And I think he died in 18. It's either 88 or 58. I can't really make it out. There it is. Then we got somebody else here. It's Garvis. And Garvis died in 18, looks like 1822, might, might have been when he was born, and he died in 1867 on that one. Then we got Elizabeth Hoover, she's the wife of Ann Cook, born April the 26th, 1794, and died January 24th, 1869. See if she's the only one that's on there, nope, gonna be, father is gonna be on her too. It's gonna be Nic Nicholas or something like that, Cook. He was born May the 30th, 1792, and he died May the 27th, 1859 on that stone right there, guys. All right, then we got a few more fence. We got fence people. We got bush people. Now we got fence people. 
We went from bushes to fences. Right here, we got fence people. Right here. This one died in 1869. Then we got an infant right here. Or a child. Then we got it broken off, and I don't know what they're doing with this one. Probably down in the woods somewhere. Wouldn't surprise me. Nothing surprises me anymore. I've seen a lot. Then we have a couple child or infants down here, I believe. Right here at this corner. And we got a corner person. We got corner people too. I heard the corner. This is a corner people. Corner of the fence people. All right. Then we have, I don't know if that's supposed to be a puck or what that is. There it is. All right, that takes us to this row. You only got a child or an infant? Probably on this one. I don't know, the writing's right in there if you can see anything. See if there's any more on it. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit right here. I can't read it though, but there it is. I don't know how much we're going to be able to see in this garden, guys. So far, it's not been too good. This is Catherine. Right here. And she died November the 10th, 1841. Seven years and six months. Then we got Mary. She's the wife of Adam Ports. She died March 27th, 1844. It's 76 years, three months, and three days. Then we got James Ports. And I don't know when Mr. Ports died. Can't tell for the fungus. 1820 something, I think. 1821, maybe? I don't know. You be the judge on that one. I don't know. The fungus just took over. I can't take it. I can't read it. Then we have this one. It's going to be a child or an infant. It's going to be right in there, guys. I can't see it or read it. But there it is. And I don't really get mad. When I'm at a cemetery, when you can't read them like this, when it's because of the age of the stones, because you're looking at some of these stones is 150 to 200 years old, you know, you can't expect to read them all. There's no way. But anyways, this is a John on this one. That's about all I can tell about John on that one. This is a neat looking stone. You don't see too many of them cut like that at the top. That's different. <laughs> And they died in 1880, but I'm not sure on the name. I know the last name's Ports, but I don't know the, the first name. I'm not sure of the first name. And then we have, maybe somebody may have been right here. I'm not sure, but I think that's it on that stone. Yeah, it is. All right, guys. Then we have another Civil War veteran. Right here. It's going to be a Civil War veteran right here, guys. It's going to be Theo Bolton. He was in a 174th Regiment, or whatever, however they pronounce that. There it is. Then we have an infant or a child right here. They died April the 28th, 1873. And it looks like one year, five months, and 25 days child or an infant right here for next to them then we have a whole big area and there's a few little dips here there may be a couple stones missing in this garden I wouldn't swear to it but I wouldn't swear not either so I don't know anyways we got this one next and I'm trying to see if I can see anything at all which I can't find nothing so guys this one's so old that it's wore away there's a lot of them here in that away. And, I mean, as old as these stones are, you know, I don't ain't going to say nothing on this graveyard. There is some pretty old ones, you know. Then we got these two. You're going to see a little bit on that one. They might have died in 1841. That's a beautiful flower on that one. Looks like it was from Matilda. Rest in peace, Matilda. And I guess his is completely wore away because I can't see nothing on that one. There it is. 
Then we have our next one right here. You know, all I can do is hold them up. I can't see them by eye, but you might be able to see them on camera. Then this is our next one. Uh, I believe it goes this way. I believe. There it is, guys. And like I said before, I'm not using a new gimbal because the wind is blowing here and it would just cut right off and I'm not playing with it. I ain't got time to play all day. Then this one here, they died July the 20th, 1848 on this one right here. I think it's an infant, but I went square tech. You be the judge. Then we have this one. It's hard to tell on some of these. You can't see them too good. I'd be afraid to say anything on them. I do know these are child and infant stones here. Because they have a lamb on them when you can see it. Here. And here. So these are all three child and infants. And probably this one too as well. Guys. Right here. Alright. That takes us up here to what? D bolt. We have Laura Bell, February the 12th, 1927, March the 8th, 2014. We have Birdo, November the 17th, 1911, March the 7th, 1999. Then we have DeBo again. DeBo. We have Dice, or Dicey, 1879 to 1963, and Hayes, L, 1876 to 1949. Then we have Delta L. DeBolt, 1917 to 1920. Rest in peace, little one. Then we have I'm not sure on this one. There it is. All right. Then we have Died July 13th, 1825, Nancy Ann, right here. Then we have died in September the 15th, looks like 1876, David, on this one. Then we have a child or an infant on this one, guys. I'm not sure who. There it is. All right. Let's move on. Then we have John P., the son of Russell and Ann, Anna M. Winship. Was killed by a horse November the 24th, 1846, at the age of nine years, seven months, and ten days. Was killed by a horse. Rest in peace, young man. Then we have this one, and I bet he's a veteran because it's got an American flag in it. But I can't read it. But there it is, guys. On this one. He don't have a placard of any kind. But I'm sure he's a veteran. I'm going to see if I can come up with the money. I don't know how I'll get it. But none of these down here have any flags. None of these veterans. And I'm going to see if I can order some flags and bring back to this cemetery and honor our veterans in a proper way. Anyways, here we go. This one here died in 1869. I'm not sure of the name. Good looking old stone. Then we have this one. I can't tell anything about it. I can't see it to read it. There it is, guys. That's the first one I've seen really like this one. This is Pierre, or no, Penelope. Penelope. Looks like she might have died in 1837 on this one. Or 87, you be the judge. On that Penelope. And I can't see to read this one, guys. I'm sorry, but there it is. All right, let's get this one over here. This one right here. Looks like it's going to belong to a John on this one. And I'm not sure, maybe 1844 on this one. 
I believe. John A. Hastings is his name, Hastings. That's the first time I've heard the name Hastings since I've been doing this. I ain't had any Hastings. I don't know about this one. There it is. It's a, they died in 1830-something or 80-something or something. I can't really make that out. I really don't know. You got writing on this side, too. When they got that moss, it's too hard to see them. At least it is for me. And I'd rather not tell you nothing is to tell you something that ain't right. Then you got somebody on this one. If, will, if, if I willfully know it ain't right. Now, I may tell you something that ain't right all the time, but that ain't intentionally. Because I would never do that. All right. Here's our next one, guys. Down here, this little stone. And that's about all I see on it. That is all I see on it. Maybe something right in there. I don't know. You'd have to tell me. There it is. Man, these are hard to see. But that's all right. This is Van Fleet. Nellie Van Fleet, 1860 to 1882, and Louis Van Fleet, 1856 to 1914. Then you got a child or an infant on this one. You got another child or an infant on this one, right here. Then we have, I have no idea on this one. Can't see enough of it to tell anything about it. There it is. All right. Then we have. Did I do them? Yeah, I done them. It was that one with the weird top. I can't tell nothing on that one either, guys. Right there. And that was the side. All right, here's our next one. Here's our next one right here. There must be a trail above me because I can hear them people talking as they're going through. Don't mind they're talking. We're recording. I can't tell nothing on this one, guys. On that one. And we're up to this one right here. It's going to be a child or an infant on this one as well. A lot of child and infants in this one side over here. Then we have a broken laying down here. I don't see nothing on it. But we're going to flip it over. Because they tend to like to lay them back backwards. But this one's actually laying right. So we'll just put it right back down. Can't Just can't read it. Alright. Here's our next one. Right here guys. See if we can see anything on it. We see a barely anything right there, guys. That's all I see on it. I don't know what it says. Then we have Melvin E. Montgomery. He was a private in the U.S. Army, World War II. May the 19th, 1924, October 25th, 2000. He has the Purple Heart. So he's my first Purple Heart recipient in this cemetery. Wow. Then we have... C.R. Arnold, 1839 to 1885. Then we have Sophia. She's the wife of Hiram Smith. She died December the 19th, 1850. At the age of 32 years, 11 months, and 9 days on that stone right there. And so you got a mound right there. There's a body or a grave and there's no stone. Then right next to him. There is a stone, so somebody didn't get a stone. It's probably the husband or wife of one of these after they died because the other person's gone and nobody bought the stone. There's a lot of dips here where there's no stones in this garden that I can tell already. But we'll move on. This is a chowder and infant on this one as well. Right here. Then we have Lucy Ann on this one. It looks like Lucy Ann died in... It says 1818 right there, the best I can tell, at five years old, on 1818 on the Lucy Ann. There's a child or an infant here on this one. 
right there. Then we have whew, legs are getting tired. We have this one right here. Well, I think well, no, we done that one. Okay, so we do do got to get the one by my car though. I didn't get it, which I probably could have got it when I was leaving, but that's all right. We'll get it now. I need the exercise. This is Della. And uh, 18, it looks like 18, 13 right here. But I am not sure on Della. I am not sure. Best I can tell. Ah, right, gives me a just second, guys. <sighs> we ain't going to get this done at 30. We're going to be close. It's going to be a little over 30 with this garden. But we've done all that so far. And so we're moving on. All right, here we go. Takes a long to walk it. Then we have Jack. Man, 1886 to 1961. We have Walter Ray Man, 1908 to 1951. We have, I have no idea on this one. Right there. Then we have what Bl Blanche Blanche man 1888 to 1918 then we have Reverend what Styles Parker died September the 16th 1847 at the age of 82 years then Dems his wife died April the 9th, 1847, at the age of 71 years. And he is a Revolution War veteran as well. So that is 14, no, 15, I believe, Revolution War veterans in this cemetery so far. 15 Revolution War veterans so far. I don't have any idea on this one. I can't tell when they died. I think it says 1843, but I will not swear to it. This one here's a good looking old stone. It belongs to James, James Jamson. And it looks like he might have died June the 21st, 1845, 26 years, six months, and 12 days on this stone right there. That is a good looking old stone, even though it's been broken and put back together. I really can't tell on this one. It's an infant. That's all we can tell. He's an infant son of, and that's all I see. Ooh, that sun's getting warm. Really can't read this one. But there it is, guys. This one belongs to Mary. She's the wife of Chester. Cheville. Died April the 2nd, 1886, at 59 years and 26 days. Then we have Mary on this one. And this Mary died in 18... I want to say 52, September the 15th on that one. And then we have, I have no idea on this one. I can't tell enough on that one to even tell you nothing. All right, let's see who we got down through here now. And we got some dips in between them. Like there's two right there. And you can perfectly tell the grass changes color. And there's no headstone at all. So there's two people buried there somewhere. But where their headstone is, I don't know. This is Audrey Price, 1887 to 1947. Because I can tell by the ground there's people buried there. This is Myrtle Viola Barnes, April the 10th, 1897 to January the 11th, 1992. Then we have Matilda A. Walters, or Waters, Waters, 1879 to 1974. Then we have Elizabeth. M. Peekman? Peekham. Peekham. 1852 to 1918. Then we have James B. Walters. 1870 to 1937. Then we have Grace Gertrude Walters Montgomery. Nut. 1905 to 1949. She had a lot of names. Then we have Nut. Or Nut. 
Kenneth W. 1933 to 1990, and Claudia 1942. Then we have Angeline, the wife of Manny Stearns, 1812 to 1851 at 39 years. And then we have this one, and I can't tell. That may have may have been uh, Manning right here. I'm not sure. But they died in 18. It looks like 1839 right here. 39 on that one. All right, guys. Oh. Then we have Kenneth Walter Nutt or Warren Nutt. Kenneth Warren Nutt. He was an RTC in the U.S. Army, April the 19th, 1933 to February the 19th, 1990. So, there he is. Then we have in a loving memory from her children, Brother Mel and husband Randy, D. Ford, 1940 to 1997. There's the angels. That's pretty cool. Then we have father and mother. Father's probably going to be over here. That looks like Esther. That's all I can tell on it. I can't really see it. So why am I saying Esther? I shouldn't tell you nothing. I don't know. This is the eldest of here. But that's all I can tell on it. There it is. All right. Then we have James. Uh, I'm not sure on the last name. 1830 to 1903 on this one. Then we have Probably a child or infant on these two. I wouldn't swear to it. I can't read either one of them. So there they are. Right there. That's both of them. Okay. Then we have this. And I can't see it to read it. Good looking stone though. If it was all cleaned up. It'd take a lot to clean one of these up though. As much as that fungus that's on them, it'd take a lot of scrubbing. And I don't think you'd see half of them once you did it. But there it is, guys. All right, let's catch this up right here. It's going to be Rotwell and Styles. This is Harmon Jackson Styles, August 23rd, 1911, to June the 9th, 1987. <coughs> Excuse me. This is Rotwell. This is Melvin F. Rotwell. September the 17th, 1899 to December the 6th, 1917. He is gone but not forgotten. I don't see no flyers, buddy. Somebody might have forgot something there. This is Pearl Styles Williams, 1896 to 1921. This is Rockwell again. It's Edna, 1874 to 1940. It's Joseph, 1869 to 1946. And it's Libby. Uh, 1911 to 19. Whoop. Then we got Newman. We have Libby again. December the 30th, 1911 to maybe June the 1st, 1971. And Charles, August something, 1922 to maybe June something, 1971. The best I can tell, guys. Sorry. All right, and I bet there's people in there too because there's a few dips in that corner, and there ain't a headstone one in that corner. And why would you leave that big of an open space if somebody's not there? Somebody's there, just ain't got a marker. All right, here's Lydia. She's the wife of Joel Jinks. Died May the 21st, 1844, on this stone right here. That's a good looking stone right there. There's a lot of them old stones held up pretty good in the cemetery. Then you have Daniel here. And I can't tell when Daniel died because it's got too much grass blowed on it. You can't see it. There it is. See right here's a dip behind me. You can tell the difference in the grass. See how high the grass is where they cut? Where It's because of the lower end of the ground when there's a grave. But... Anyways, we'll move on. Then we got a child or an infant on this one right here. And they're doing something up there. I think they're engraving one. 
So I'm trying to talk loud over the code that, that cover that noise. Then we have this one, and I can't tell nothing about it, guys, but there it is. All right. We don't like much of this cemetery. In this yard, I mean. We still like a lot in the cemetery. There's not a lot in this yard. This is Daniel. I mean, not Daniel. Dan L. Van Yankin again, or however you pronounce that. March 23rd, 1824 to March 8th, 1893. Then you got Sally D. Van, Van Nanken, February the 10th, 1818, April 21st, 18, 1833, I believe, or 39. Then we have Francis, February the 20th, 18, maybe 60 or 66, I can't really make that out. I think it's 60. August the 16th, 1861. It is 60. 60 to 61. Rest in peace, little one. All right, guys. Here's our next one. Right here. And it's going to be... I have no idea. E. Van Duncan or Van Dinken or however you pronounce that. Died September the 1st, I want to say. 1854 at 65 years. Then we have Mary... And I can't tell on Mary, but that's Mary right here. All right, guys, let's see where we're at. We got to end this one, guys. Uh, there'll probably be another 15 minutes on the next video. So it'll probably be a short video. Because after I end, finish this garden, I'm going home for the day. I'm tired. But anyway, share, like, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you watching. Keep watching because there is a lot of old graves in this cemetery. Like I said, notice one is 1810 so far. We got 15 uh, Revolution War veterans. So yeah, this is an interesting one here. If you like history and you like the Revolution War history, you're gonna love this cemetery. Anyways, please share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Sorry about checking, and peace. I'm out of here.